So, the next part of the discussion is that is Mendeleev's periodic table. So, here uh, periodic property atomic weights atomic weight so all the physical and chemical properties all the physical all the physical and chemical properties of elements all the physical and chemical properties of the elements are periodic functions of their all the physical and chemical properties are the all all the physical and chemical properties of the elements are the periodic functions of their atomic weights so mendeleev has taken the atomic weights into consideration while placing the different elements in the periodic table in fact if you go for mendeleev the short form of the short form of periodic table pt stands for periodic table it contains six periods six periods and eight groups in fact this is short form of periodic table long form of periodic table long form of periodic table according to mendeleev long form long form of periodic table contains it contains that is the 18 uh, seven periods and uh, 18 groups seven periods and 18 groups however there are some limitations however there are some limitations in the periodic table if you go for the limitations limitations of periodic table if you take limitations no exact position for hydrogen in periodic table second no place for isotopes isotopes no place for isotopes and also atomic weights atomic weights of elements position was irregular that is anomalous space Anomalous space ambiguity ambiguity was not explained significantly was not explained significantly. One example I would like to give you if you take potassium if you are taking potassium that is for example let me put it in this way that is lithium for example lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine and neon again sodium sodium magnesium aluminium silicon phosphorus sulfur chlorine argon and next is that is potassium potassium is 19 atomic weight 39 argon 18 it is 40. So, you are finding that this is the set of elements, the set of elements they belong to second period and this set of elements they belong to third period, 
third period and you are finding that potassium belongs to fourth period. But what is interesting here is 18 argon 40 and 19 potassium 39 because the because the atomic weight of argon is 40 it is supposed to be placed in the position of potassium because the argon atomic weight is 40 because the argon atomic weight is 40 and potassium atomic weight is 39 uh, the potassium should, should occupy the argon position the potassium should occupy the argon position and the argon should occupy the potassium position. Uh, but in the periodic table you find that their places have been exchanged the places have been exchanged and uh, of course there is a justification saying that argon is placed below the neon in the periodic table just because argon and neon both of them are noble gases so they will have some rationality in the chemical properties might be it is because of that reason the argon would have been placed below nitrogen but if you take exactly according to the definition of the Mendeleev's periodic table Definitely potassium will occupy the position of argon and argon will occupy the potassium on uh, argon will occupy the position of the potassium in the periodic table and potassium will occupy the position of argon in the periodic table. So that is why this pair this pair of uh, I can say that 19 potassium 39 comma 18 argon 40 are uh, um, anomalous pairs. Such anomalous pairs was were not properly explained by the Mendeleev's periodic table, were not properly justified by the Mendeleev's periodic table. So, next part of discussion is that is Mosley's periodic table. So, here periodic property. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.